Good morning, Golf High. Today is Friday, April 29th, 2022. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Mr. Rutherford, coming to you from WBUC Studios with your school news. The word of the day today is flummox, which is a verb that means to confuse. Can you use that in a sentence, Mr. Rutherford? I sure can, Elizabeth. Why the error message kept popping up, flummox, the computer tech? And now for today's weather forecast. It looks like we have some rain on the way as we hit a high of 87 degrees and a low of 68 degrees tonight. The rain chances will be at 30% today, but go up to 60% tomorrow and 40% on Sunday. I guess we'll have a rainy weekend to deal with. Stay dry and have a great weekend, Bucks. In 2004, the World War II Monument opens in Washington, D.C. In 1974, President Nixon announces the release of the Watergate tapes. And in 1968, the Broadway musical Hair premieres in New York. In current news, a violin crafted in 1736 by Italian luthier Giuseppe Guarneri, called the Leonardo da Vinci of violins, could fetch as much as $10.6 million at auction. One ticket sold in Arizona won the $473.1 million Powerball on Wednesday. The Ingenuity helicopter, which is a drone launched from NASA and, and currently is located on Mars, takes high-definition pictures of debris on the planet from previous Mars rover landings. And the Jacksonville Jaguars choose Trayvon Walker as the number one overall draft pick in this year's NFL draft. Here's the joke of the day. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Stay tuned to the end of the news for the answer. Hello and welcome to another quiz from your favorite quiz channel, Brain Bunch. In this quiz, we have 10 general knowledge questions for you. Good luck. Question 1. In which year did Venus Williams win her first singles title at Wimbledon? 2000, 2002, 2004, or 2006? Two thousand. Question 2. How many wings does a mosquito have? 0, 2, 4, or 6? 2. Question 3. What does I stand for in the graphic file format GIF? Instant, implemented, inch, or interchange? Interchain. Question 4. What band has members Charlie and Craig Reed? The Communards, The Proclaimers, Orbital, or Hanson? The Proclaimers. Question 5. What is darts player Andy Hamilton's nickname? The thrower, the crusher, the hammer, or the bomber? Hammer. Question 6. Cameroon has two official languages. One is English, what is the other? Spanish, French, Italian, or Esperanto? French. Question 7. What is the capital city of Armenia? Kapan, Gyumri, Yerevan, or Vanzor? Yerevan. Question 8. In which year was the film Jaws released? 1970, 1975, 1969, or 1981? 1975. Question 9. Which horse won the Grand National in 2015? Tiger Roll, Rule the World, Many Clouds, or One for Arthur? Many 
many clouds. Question 10. Who wrote the book Ubik? Arthur C. Clarke, Ian M. Banks, Philip K. Dick, or Isaac Asimov? Philip K. Dick. Tryouts for next year's cheerleading squad continue today at 5 p.m. A second round of tryouts will be on May 25th to the 27th, also at 5 p.m. For more information, contact our cheer coach, Mrs. Ferrix, at the email listed below. Hey, class of 2022, have you uploaded your current baby pictures for the presentation that is going to be put together at the end of the year? Download the Yearbook Snap app and upload your pictures with your name and the notes to be featured in the video. See the class band app for the access code. The deadline for turning in pictures is next Friday, May 6th, and no late entries will be accepted. Get your pictures uploaded today. Attention all dancers. Dance team tryouts will be held on Wednesday, May 11th, and Thursday, May 12th, on the gym stage right after school until 4 p.m. You must be there both days to be considered for the team. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. West on the stage. This Monday at 8.30 a.m. in the cafeteria, there will be a presentation by Herf Jones to all current sophomores to talk about class rings. All students of the class of 2024 should attend. So, why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. That's all for our news. Have, Have a great, great National, National Zipper, Zipper Day, Day, Golf High. Welcome to April 29th on the National Day calendar. When you take a look at your pants, you may overlook an invention that took several years to perfect. The first attempt at making a zipper came from the inventor of the sewing machine, Elias Howe. In 1851, he received a patent for the automatic continuous clothing closure. However, Howe never marketed his invention and missed out on receiving recognition. But in 1906, the Universal Fastener Company hired Gideon Sunsback, a Swedish-American electrical engineer. He was highly skilled and known for his devotion to the company. On April 29, 1913, he was granted a patent for the modern zipper, which he called the Separable Fastener. Today we celebrate National Zipper Day for this handy notion that zips up everything from purses to pants. I'm Marlo Anderson with the National Day Calendar. See you again tomorrow as we celebrate every day.